He takes off. I'm holding on, just dip, 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 <laughs> thinking I'm going to bounce off this entire thing or that he's going to flip us. Legal disclaimer. The following is a hypothetical story from my past. The names and places may have been changed to protect the guilty. Let's get to it. This is the tale of what happened between me and Slick Jimmy one evening. The Slick Jimmy? He's driving. I'm in passenger seat, right? He's driving down 7th Street towards Duquesne, and he is just flooring it, right? And Slick Jimmy was very fond of drinking Coca-Cola. And that night, he may have overdone it just a teensy bit. I'm in the passenger seat. He wanted seat. to go fast. <laughs> I'm paying no attention, right? He somehow takes the, the passenger side tire into the curb going about 50, right? So that tire just explodes, okay? <laughs> so now we're just instantly on rim. He's like, man, we got to turn off. We got to turn off. So he turns and he pulls off and he tries to put it as much as he can before he thinks he's doing damage to the vehicle off of the main road. 7th Street is the main road in the, in the town we're from, Joplin. He starts changing the tire, right? And as we pull over, I'm hopping out too. I'm like, all right, man, let's do this quick. He's like, no, I got this. So I'm in a bit of a panic that the police are going to show up, right? We're in front of somebody's house. And sure enough, four and a half minutes later, woo, 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 <laughs> like one of the cart narcs pulling up. And it's a very obese cop. You know, and th this will tell you exactly why they call him Slick Jimmy. <laughs> he stops changing the tire. He looks at me, starts walking towards that house, and he goes, hey, man, your jack isn't working. I'll get you one out of the garage. We'll get you fixed up, as if he wasn't involved in the scenario. <laughs> so the house was a little bit offset from the road. He went all the way to the garage and then just took off running, right? <laughs> and there were woods behind there. And then that, I'm standing next to this morbidly obese cop. And he's like, he's running, ain't he? And I'm like, mm, sure is, buddy. Sure is. <laughs> Immediately what happens is I get cuffed up. You know, we got a runner here and see, he was running towards range line and he's probably got a good mile and a half or so. And it's an area of woods, you know, and then before it opens up into all of the hotel district stuff. So I don't know what's going on with him. I know he took off. I know I'm stuck with the cop now. <laughs> so I'm trying to make up this crazy story. And he's like, who's that? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, whose car is that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, I was at a party on the north side of town. Slick Jimmy showed up. And uh, he said he'd give me a ride home. And he's like, well, where do you live? And I'm like, well, I'm about 15 miles that way. <laughs> but, so you don't know this guy's name none. He's like, okay, I'm going to need to take you to where this house party is. And I'm like, no, I, like I said, I'm from 15. I couldn't get you there. You know, we'll just drive in circles. I, I don't know where it is. And they know I'm lying, right? <laughs> By this point, there's four units set up. They got dogs. They're into the woods. They're dog the bounty hunter, and, right? <laughs> I'm cuffed up. They put me in the back of the car while they're towing Slick Jimmy's vehicle. So I, I was in the back of that car for like an eternity and three or four different cops, sergeants, everything. They come to me. You sure you don't know who he is? We're going to make this real tough on you. You know, the whole <laughs> nine. I'm like, man, I just don't know. Dude picked me up from a party. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So after a couple hours, they wind up cutting me loose. One unit kind of hung around as I'm walking down 7th Street, right? And there was this old beat up pickup that kept passing me. But the cop wasn't far behind me. I'm on foot, you know? Right. And I'm like, I wonder if Slick Jimmy sent me, sent that dude over because he looked like the type <laughs> of dude who would associate with Slick Jimmy. So after about 30 minutes of me walking or so, the cops seem to have gave up. That truck passes again. He pulls up and he's like, Slick Jimmy sent me. And I'm like, all right, then bet. So that means two things. That means one, Slick Jimmy made it to some sort of safety, right? And two... He actually looked out for me. So right. shout out to you, Slick Jimmy. Slick Jimmy's in the pen right now. I hope you are well. All these stories are about people who are locked up. <laughs> Nonetheless, not like his real name anyways. So the guy takes me back to the hotel that Slick Jimmy had. And then I'm like, dude, what the hell? You know, you took off. You left me there. Da, 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 da. And he's like, no, no, it worked out. But I need to tell you what happened. His point of this story is he goes to the garage, which, by the way, was like the slickest thing I've ever seen. Right. He just fooled that cop immediately into thinking he lived in that house, was a good Samaritan. That way, if that cop did chase him, he had a good 15, 20 yard head start on him. Right. Right. 
Slick Jimmy was a fast little f***er. <laughs> so he tells me he gets into the woods. And bear in mind, like I said, he had, had a little too much Coca-Cola. So we got to take all this with a grain of something. But he says he heard people talking in there immediately. And he didn't. at first he didn't believe it was the police. And that those people were chasing him. I'm like, well, that was obviously the cop's asshole. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, no. These were people. And they were yelling at each other. And he had had this whole dialogue where they lived in that portion of the woods. And he was in violation by moving in on their turf. By <laughs> r- all nonsense, right? But eventually he says he did hear the dogs. And he tried to avoid them. And he said they always were a ways behind him. So when you break through the woods at that point, you have huge parking lots there. You have John Q. Hammonds. You got Sam's Club before you even get to like the hotels. And even the hotels, not all of them you could enter from like the back. You got to go around kind of to the main road. So he said he would go into one parking lot, hide in the dumpsters. Next parking lot, hide in the dumpsters, right? (laughs) So he tells me all this and then it kind of clicks in my head. I'm the only thing that's going to tie him to this, right? So we're looking out the window, and there are, like, overlapping patrols down 32nd Street, right? (laughs) So they're, you know, SUVs, the whole nine. They're looking for a slick Jimmy. So I know I got to get the hell out of there because if they find me, they find him. We're both in trouble because I'm not going to be able to lie my way out of this one, you know? So I wind up, and we actually pulled another slick move. I called this chick. Had her parked in the back, but she walked out. She walked into the front desk to where anybody who was driving by could see her from the main road. As she walked into the front desk, I went out the back exit, got in her vehicle, and then she walked back out the front exit and got in her vehicle. So it looked like, I don't know, she was just checking on something, right? So I'm laid down in the back seat, and, you know, we get back to the house, whatever. Everything was fine, but, yeah, that is the tell of Slick Jimmy (laughs) on 7th Street. And it wasn't even one of the craziest. This guy loved to run from the police. <laughs> one time, uh, he 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 was real big into stealing four-wheelers, right? You had a four-wheeler, watch out. <laughs> He'd get it. So he goes, let's go for a ride. And I'm sitting on the back, and I didn't want to, like, caress him. So it had one of them crates, you know, like uh, the grating on the back for you to, like, tie, like, a cooler down oh, onto yeah. it or something. So I'm holding down like this onto it. And once again, he takes us down 7th, or this was 32nd Street, in the middle of the night with no headlights and starts, like, going straight at semis. <laughs> and he did it until the police got on us, right? <clears throat> So he cuts off into, uh, I don't know what parking lot it was then, but then goes into another wooded area. So the whole time, right when he saw the cops, I don't think the cops that saw us, they were rounding a corner with the lights on. He takes off. I'm holding on just (laughs) thinking I'm going to bounce off this entire thing or that he's going to flip us. But that was life with Slick Jimmy. Not apologetic. Nonsense.